Welcome back. Today we're talking about tables. These are really, 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 really useful in Pico and in Lua in general. And even though they might be a little intimidating, I guarantee you the sooner that you learn these, the easier your life is going to be making games in Pico 8. Okay, so what is a table? How does it work? I'll just make a variable my table like this equals. And what we're going to do is do curly brackets like this. That tells Pico that this is a table. And inside of the table, you can put a bunch of different things. These are also called arrays. These are also called lists. In Pico, they're all the same thing. A table, array, a list, a dictionary. They're all, they're all basically the same. It's just a list of properties or a list of objects that are all contained inside of one variable. Okay. So actually, instead of my table, let's call this uh, pockets. So what do we have in our pockets? Well, we have a button, we have a knife, and we have a coin. Okay, three things in our pockets, a button, a knife, and a coin. So what do we do with this? Well, one thing that we can do is access these things that are inside of this pockets variable in a really cool way. So if I say print, let's just say pockets, and I'm gonna make square brackets right here, and I'm gonna type a number of which one of these things I want to access. So if I wanna access button, that's number one. So if I say print pockets one, and I hit save and run, that's going to type button at the very top, okay? If I were to say button pockets two, that's going to type knife. And so it's a nice way to access any item from this list. And so this is especially great if you're doing something like making an inventory where you have a whole bunch of objects and you want to access an object from the inventory. But you can also do this for kind of properties of objects and stuff. So check this out. Let's get rid of pockets. And here we have our player X and player Y. If we make our player a table, so we say player equals this, we can actually say X equals 30 comma Y equals 113. We'll get rid of these. And now X is a sub variable of this table, which is the player table. And now we just get to these using a dot. So player dot X and player dot Y, which is a lot like some other engines and other languages and stuff where you can just get the properties of an object. And so what we're basically doing is making a class of an object here, which is really great. You can say, okay, a player has an X and a Y value. He also has a speed as a sprite. And again, we can kind of replace stuff down in our code with these kind of things, and it will run using those properties. Now, this is getting a little bit long, so what we can actually do is just hit return before each of these properties here like this, and I can just hit return like that, kind of put these on different lines. That just breaks it up, makes it a little bit more readable. But that's really all it is, is, is you have a bunch of different variables in a list, and they're separated by commas. And if you're going to get good at one basic concept in Pico 8, I would really recommend checking out these arrays, these tables, because you can use these for tons of different things. And it's a really nice way to have a whole bunch of information inside of one table that you can call at any point. And it's really easy to remember because you're not making a global variable that's PX, PY, P speed, P sprite, like all that stuff. You can just say player.x, player.y. And you can make similar things, like if you have a different class of character, right? So you could have like an enemy. All you have to do is switch this name, and now you can draw your enemy down here, and you just have a nice little list of all their properties. It's easy to tweak. Just a really nice way to work. So if you have any questions about tables, let me know in the comments. I'll try and answer them with a future video. If you watched all the way to here, why not click the like button? And hey, thanks for watching.